Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and today I'm going to be having my dinner. <laughs> yes, so as people have been requesting for a long, long time now uh, to see just general sort of cooking on the wood burner uh, videos, I thought, right, I'm having a lazy day, I'm not really up to much, just trying to uh, practice my calligraphy and that sort of stuff, getting um, a few bits and pieces sorted with my Amazon books, and obviously check out my books, The Narrowboat Lad and The Narrowboat Lad Living the Dream, only £1.53 on the Kindle. Um, so I thought, why not actually get around to doing one of these cooking on the fire videos? I tried one recently where I was uh, cooking things like onion bhajis and vegetable samosas and that sort of thing, but it was a little bit dark and the video didn't really come out very well. Uh, so today, it's like I say, just a lazy day. I think I'm going to head out on a bike ride after. So I'm just going to have soup and, um, I don't know, maybe some naan breads. Maybe one naan bread actually. Um, so I suppose let's dive in. So, as you can see, my grubby fire here. Um, this is a very small cylinder fire, custom made by whoever had Tilly before me. Please ignore things like the rope at the back. I can assure you this is all safe, but because I'm so obsessed with things like this, I can't help but add more and more stuff. And you literally, for this, lift it up, and then you can drop more fuel in. Uh, this top ring as well, if I had a bigger pan, which unfortunately I haven't at the moment, that ring also lifts off. And then you can drop a pan over the entire length of it. But I'm quite happy to just take that one off and then chuck something across the top there like that. Just a side note here. As you can see, I've obviously got a kettle. Um, and this is how, over the winter months, I get most of my hot water. Literally just pop that on. And it's already been brought to the boil once. So I keep that then down at the side of the fire there by the ashtray. And that means then that it keeps it nice and warm. So after I've had my dinner, I can then literally use water that's also been heated up off the wood burner to do the washing up. As you can see, it's simple stuff. On goes a baking tray. On goes the naan bread. Well, I've opened the air vent a little bit just to give it a little bit of extra heat. And I don't know if you can hear the hiss that it's got. Maybe, maybe not. Perhaps not, um, but it's just simmering away there. The fire's not too wildly hot because it is actually, well, as you can see, a sunny day outside. Um, and like I say, it's just a case of waiting, really. Well, that's starting to crispen up nicely. I don't like to have them um, too solid, so I'm going to keep a close eye on this. Um, I would say just a few random things, really. Um, Hopefully next month I'm going to replace my chimney completely so the fire will get a slight repositioning so hopefully it'll face a, a better angle because I don't really like the way it is at the moment um, and obviously once there's a new chimney in that'll well, just be nice and fresh instead of all the paint peeling off this one that's been painted goodness knows when so that'll be rather pleasant. Well that's simmering away, let's have a few words. Uh, yeah, cooking on this little stove is pretty straightforward as you've seen, it is literally just a case of it's a fire, it's warm, put stuff on top of it and it cooks. Um, obviously things like this where it's like just warming up soup, you are literally just warming it up. Um, other things, I mean, well something as well, a very simple thing again, toast. I'm fascinated that by putting a baking tray over the top of it, you can then literally put a piece of bread on it and when the fire's really going and really throwing out the heat on the cold nights, you're literally talking like within seconds it'll be cooked and ready as a piece of toast. And it's, well, it's something that's caught me out a couple of times and instantly it starts to burn because I'm just not prepared for how fast it, it does well, transform the bread into a burnt crisp of its former self. Um, other things that I'll show you... Uh, I'll probably show you in the coming months, hopefully at least, uh, putting jacket potatoes in there and actually dropping them down into the fire. Oh, I tell you, there's nothing better than a wood burner cooked jacket potato. Fantastic stuff. Um, but really, like I say, it's nice, simple, straightforward. I'm not sure what exactly people want from this video, <laughs> other than to see me eating some soup and bread. <laughs> So, I suppose really that's actually starting to look like it might be ready to burn. Let's flip it over and join me when the soup goes on. I'll call it a day with that because I don't want it to get too crispy. But now we've got to fill this bowl. So, in similar fashion, on goes our tin of minestrone soup. 
And, well, like I say, it's just a case now of stirring, making sure that it doesn't get too hot, and, well, enjoying when it's ready. You can see that it's um, just simmering away there, um, just steaming rather, and I think that's probably going to be good enough for me. It's um, got a little bit too hot, and I had to close up the drawer on the front, so it did start to have that telltale sort of big splats as it started to boil. So there we have it. Very simple, like I say, nothing fancy about this boy on a boat. Um, and really, like I say, that's another thing. It helps keep the cost down that instead of having to use the gas all the time, obviously I've got a fire going through most of the winter months. And just being able to make simple snacks and simple food like this, well, absolutely spot on. Right, it's time to dive in. Thank you very much for watching. I know this has been a pretty random video. Um, I don't seem to be able to nail these cooking on the fire ones, even on this second time around. I'll say make sure you check out my other videos for a load more of Narrowboat Life, uh, and also an awful lot more. Like the Facebook page, subscribe to the videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter or add my personal Facebook account. And really, until the next time, just have a fantastic day. Farewell.